Hello everybody, my name's John and welcome to our channel. Today we have the Sky RC IMAX, IMAX, I like IMAX, B6 Mini. Um, this is an original product that I was sent uh, for free from Banggood. To be perfectly clear, I will not say it's great if I think it's shit. That's not what I do, that's not what I like doing. I like to be honest all the way along. Um, it, from, from what I've seen so far, this is not an unboxing, because as you can see, it's already unboxed. And I have my little cheat sheet here, because there's lots of technical information that I personally do not want to get wrong. Um, what I will be doing during the editing, though, is I will also put it up on the screen, so that anybody that wishes to read it themselves. Also, I have been charging and discharging like a plonker for the past five, six days. And that's because for the first three days, I had, uh, I don't know, about 10, 11 videos, and I had to throw them all in the bin because I had the wrong setting. All right, don't laugh. There's no need for that. I made a mistake. But it was a good mistake because I can now explain to you guys what not to do. Okay, um, what I will also say as well is I wanted to actually have this plugged in and to go through all the settings. However, if you have a look here, this is the possible combinations of settings. So what I'm going to do is I'll scan this, not the whole the whole instruction book, but just that one page, and I will have it pop up on the screen now. There you go. Right, okay, so the technical specs are as such. It currently, today, costs $45.99, which is about £35, 35p? Did I say pence or cents? No, I did say cents, okay. And uh, 39.17 uh, euros. It is for LiPo or lithium ion polymer. Uh, Lion, Leon, Lion for lithium ion. Life or LifePo or lithium ion phosphate. Uh, what was that? NICAD? <laughs> Job brain fade or what? Or nickel cadmium battery and NIM or nickel metal hydrate battery. Um, this actually came with this as well as part of the price um, and it has the English plug on it. Uh, the specs, as I said, I will put on screen. Um, I'm not going to go read through all of them, but I'll give you the bullet points. Uh, input voltage, DC, 11 to 18 volts. Uh, maximum charge, 60 watts. Uh, discharge power, 5 watts. Um, anything else interesting there? Uh, it does 1 to 6 S. Uh, 1 to 15 S for the NM and the NICAD. NICAD. Um, what else? Anything? Uh, net weight, 237 grams. Mm, yes, correct and dimensions is 107 by 85 by 34 millimeters. Input uh, power is 100 volts to 240 volts. Output 12 volts, five amps. A uh, quick look at the actual item itself. It's pretty. I like it. Do you see? Look at that. It's all pretty. Show it onto the big ones about well. There you go. Oh, uh, no. I can't be bothered because I've got to stand up and press all the buttons and I'm just going to make it focus in and out. Um, on the side we have the balance charge ports, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6S. Um, little fan goes on here when it's discharging, it's not come on once while it's charging, uh, and yeah, temperature sensor, etc, etc. For those that wish to look at the back, I shall lift that up and you can have a look yourselves. This is a genuine original, I have checked, and it came with bundles of cables. So let me, let me uh, read them out and I will make sure that they are the correct one. Judger, a T-plug with banana connector is this one. T-plug, oops, sorry, T-plug and the banana connectors and they go on, well we've got plus minus, and they fit in uh, very nicely. I like that connector, that's one of the nicer ones. Um, then what have we got? DC cable for power with the alligator clips or crocodile if you're English. Um, and I assume for that's when you're out and about, you can plug it onto your car. Then you've got the, uh, where are we now? You've got the T-plug with um, alligator connectors. Don't know what that would be for find that one out later. A Futaba plug with T connector. JST connector with, yeah, all right, you get the point. And the 
XT60. There we go. Now, um, well, that, I will show that one quickly, but that's for those people that don't know what the the 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S is, all the way up to 6S, 22.2 .2 volts. So it's basically one cell, two cell, three cell, four cell, five cell, six cell. It actually took me a while to figure that out, but there again, I'm a little bit slow. Um, just to let you know, the reason why I had to throw all of the footage away the other day was because um, I read somewhere that with this charger, you should charge everything at two amps, which I went, oh, okay, two amps, done. And then I was uh, lucky enough to receive a fantastic information from our Facebook group. If you're not a member there, maybe it's time that you were. Please come along. And uh, they obviously pointed me into the right direction, which is my own very, very stupid stupidity. And that is, depending on the milliamp hours, is what the ampage would be. So milliamp hours, it should be three amps, 1,500, so, sorry, 3,000, then 1,500 would be 1 1.5, 1,000 would be one. So 500 milliamps would be 0.5, and what, 4,000 would be four amps, etc., etc. So, um, as I said, I have been frantically going back and forth with these results over several days and nights with the thing going doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, the problem with the 3000 is I have nothing to, dis to discharge it with. I do now, actually that's a lie, yeah, because that new SC came, ESC came, but um, I haven't been able to do the, the, the sort of the stats on that. So you have a balance charge time on that one and that's it. But what I will do is in the next couple of days I will continue to use this charger and I will um, sort of do the fast charge, storage charge and the normal charge and also the normal charge on the 1005. But I have to use the batteries up. Because this one, for example, after 14 hours, it still wasn't discharged. And really, life's too short for that, isn't it? I need to put it in a car and run it down. I've had batteries coming out the wazoo, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but the, the figures are very consistent. If you look here, 1,500 milliamp hour battery, which is in the 144001 and the A959 and 979. Balance charge, one hour and seven minutes, and fast charge, one hour and one minute. So you're saving about six minutes there. Um, what's interesting with the balance charge, you've got the 1474 milliamp, so that's just under the 1005. Uh, but for the fast charge, it goes up to the 1501, and I think that's because the balance charge is obviously balancing the two cells, and one of the cells is not doing very well. But obviously on the fast charge, it doesn't give a shit, and it just pushes as much into it as it can get. Am I correct, ladies and gentlemen? I hope so. Anyway, uh, then down to the storage, uh, you can have that up to six amps. So I just went up to the six amps, you know, maximum. 49 minutes to go from a, a completely full charge down to storage. And it took it down to 7.65 volts and 514 milliamp hours storage capacity. I love statistics, don't you guys? Huh? Come on, stats are fabulous. Right, anyway, moving on. Geek John. Uh, 1000 milliamp hour battery balance charge. 55 minutes, which, what? No, you'd have thought it would have been either less or that would be more, but there you go. Um, but as you see, I'm only at eight of 34 milliamp hours. Um, and that was on the balance. So if I've got a bit of a dodgy cell, then that could cause it. The thing that, that bugs me with that is this has been used once before I start to do all of this. And that was on the unboxing video of the 979B. Uh, A979B. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that. But then of course, if you look at the fast charge here, as I said, it started to just push the, the, the milliamps in. On this one, it actually went down. So I went, right, okay, I've got a little bit of time left before I'm making the video. So I did a normal charge and it forced it up to 8.36, same sort of, the similar time. So I don't know what's going on with this battery. If anybody there can tell me that it's either faulty or that I have a setting wrong. Well, if it's a setting wrong, then let, let's, just, let's just ignore that. But if it's a faulty battery, please tell me, okay? And storage again on the six amps. Uh, please let me know if that's incorrect, because obviously I don't want to tell other people that without knowing 100%. There was nothing overheated. This didn't overheat, not even, even this. Um, that didn't overheat, this didn't overheat. So that was really good, no matter whether I was charging, discharging, or whatever. Um, again, the storage for this one was 31 minutes, took it down to the same as the 1005 and 322 milliamp hours. So what's that? That's about a third and that's about a third. 
So that would make sense, wouldn't it? Around 30%, they say, for storage. Um, let me turn it on so that you can hear it, because that's obviously important. There are some people that have come here just for that. So plug it in. Plug it in. There we go. Now, now the settings, just for the everyday use, are so simple. Okay, you've got discharge, balance charge, charge. If I do it like that, how about like that? There you go, fast charge, storage, discharge, okay? And then if I go to the charge and you press start once, it then does the ampage. So like if it's a 3000 milliamp, you would put it down to the three amps. Uh, 2S, 3S, 1S, up to the 6S, and then that. And then when you, when you want to go, you hold down the enter button. Uh, what have we got? Uh, 1S, so I will move that to... I'm not going to turn this on now, I just want to show you how easy it is to set up. 2S, I will plug the battery in. And then don't forget the balance charging port. There, hold it down, check in the battery. It does tell you if the uh, connectors are not in. I will prove that by, if I go back, no, sorry. Now if I start again. Connect error, check your main port. Which will be this one. So then, And then confirm, and off it goes. As you see, it's already at 7.72. So there you go. So let's go back out to the settings. You've got LiPo, uh, LiFi, LiFa, LiFia, or just Life. That's that Life Po, or Poo. Um, lithium ion. Yeah, all right. What was the HV? Hover. There is no hover. That's interesting. I will check that one up and also put it in the um, in the description. Uh, yeah, yeah. PB. I do not know what the PB is. I'm afraid. Battery meter. Two cells, which make up. Um, and then, sorry, battery resistance. Checking is a battery. I'm sure somebody out there knows what that's for. And system settings. And then a safety timer, I've just got to set it up like that, but I was sort of coming back to it every sort of 20 minutes. That was just because I was discharging so much and it kept on beeping and the likes of <clears throat> capacity cut off, maximum, temperature cut off, units. As I said, I will scan that in so that you can all see this as well. Battery memory. And then we're back to the start again. So as an actual, oh, let me put it on discharge quickly because hopefully, see it goes straight up to the two amps. That is the maximum. You cannot have it higher than two amps, but for storage, it will go up to six amps. So let's do that. I want you to hear the fan when it kicks in. Um, it is super easy super easy to use. I'm really impressed with it, to be honest with you. I'm not, I, you know, I, I've only been back into RC cars for, what, six months now, and I don't, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I do not know a lot about the electronic side of it. I am learning, as everybody else is, um, and thankfully to those on the forum, the Facebook forum that I mentioned earlier that you really should be part of, um, there, there's so many kind people that are, are really helpful with information, and, and that also means you know, just for the, the simplest little things and the most complicated. Like whenever I post, they're, they're literally, I've got a response within five minutes and that's helped me a lot. So thank you to the, everybody that's been helping me along the way with the channel and the support. You see how noisy that is? I mean, like, honestly. I will lift this up to the microphone. And that, ladies and gentlemen, whoops, is the loudest that it gets. Um, I thought that would stop straight away. 
because of course it needs to cool down the uh, internal parts and whatnot. Um, so, as I said at the start of this, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie about this. Would I, would I buy this myself with my own uh, 39 euros? I have to say definitively 100% hell yeah. I mean, like, why wouldn't you? It seems super fast. Uh, it charges up a lot faster, obviously, than the standard um, charger, which, is, I mean, there's no real surprise there. That's that's through the USB um, charger. But it, it's quiet. It, it's so simple to use. I mean, I didn't actually look at the instruction booklet till about, I don't know, three minutes before pressing play. Um, which could, of course, explain why I had to throw all that footage away because of my stupidity. But my stupidity was only because I read that somebody had this exact one and they charged everything on two amps. So I'm probably going to have to go back and say to that person that you're doing it wrong. There we go. Um, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you're after a nice, reliable uh, charger that's super, super simple to use, I can definitely, definitely uh, recommend this one to you so please take a look um, I will make sure that I, I I do have all of the recordings of the batteries all of these batteries that I was charging up along the way so somewhere along on the editing process I'm going to be putting them in the window and just sort of pausing them at the point so that you can see the information that is here yourself so that you don't think that I've just been making these figures up um, and then that's it a little side note why I've got you. I've just ordered some wheel nuts because I'm like, why not have a few extra? So I suggest that people do that because I've had uh, my brand new 144001 that's run three times now. I've had the wheels drop off it twice and I lost one of the pins because of that fact. So always have some spare wheel nuts. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as well and hit that notification bell for future video alerts. And I wish you all a fantastic day today. Product links are in the description below. Hint, hint. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.